with my husband, and um, I love it. So th um, you all are very warm and kind. Um, so I think something, um, my pieces um, luckily fit with the theme today because I think they kind of go across cultures. Um, I think we all can, I hope, relate to them. Um, and when I first moved here, I was asked to take lots and lots of pictures because um, everyone wanted to live back home vicariously through me. And I, and I used to take pictures every day and post them on Instagram. And then as the time went, went along, I slowly would post maybe once a week and then maybe once a month. And, and it really just kind of reflected that it, this was becoming more home. And, um, and, there, and I was living more and more in the moments. Um, but I remember distinctly having had post something recently and a friend of mine wrote me a message and she said, oh my goodness, you're just living the life, you're just living abroad, and just I'm just so jealous of you um, back home. For all of you here, you're like, well, I'm from Rwanda, it's all the same. But um, for us, and coming from the United States, it's very new and different. Um, and I was actually in a pretty dark place when she sent me that message. And, and I actually, my reaction was, was more of anger at her comment than anything else, because I, I just because I live this fancy life that she thinks I'm living doesn't mean life stops. And so this piece is about that. Don't let the illusions of my pictures paint a false perception of my reality. Don't let them tell you a story that isn't true. Take them for what they are, a picture, and that is all. Don't forget that I am a that I am a three I'm more, sorry, don't forget that I am three-dimensional and more complex than the hi-fi filter I have chosen. I share images to make you smile, but the real story happens in between those pictures you see. In between the beautiful posts that unintentionally make you wish you live where I live, marry who I married, work where I work, just stop, don't. The real story is beautiful but messy imperfect and rocky, rough and, ra and raw around the edges. It has ups, it has downs. The real story is not easy, but nothing worth our while ever was. Life happens in between those posts. Live, them, live that fully. Embrace all the emotions it brings. Be gentle with yourself. Laugh, cry, smile, love fiercely, give find peace. Seek the little joys that encompass the moments undocumented. That's one. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know how many of you um, have that thing that helps you kind of live those moments undocumented where you're not behind a computer screen perhaps or maybe you're just in the moment. And maybe for you, it's painting, or maybe it's singing, maybe it's com comedy, maybe when you're writing your bits. Um, and and I, I enjoy my writing, and I, I definitely feel that in those moments, but I also really enjoy running um, and really just being out there by myself and, and not listening to music and just being in the moment. So this piece is about running, but if running isn't your thing, I hope you can take it and think about what is that thing for you in that moment where you can just let go. She feels the light, cool breeze whispering gently on her neck. It's a welcome friend as the sweat drips down her back. She looks up and the leaves also embrace this new but what once familiar winds, before a frequent visitor of the past. A dog barks in a distance as she bends over to tie her running shoe. Something feels different, yet all the same. All right, it's time, she thinks, and she begins her stride, meticulous with each step. Left, then right. Her breath quickens in tandem with her heart. Left, then right. Breathe in, breathe out. The leaves blur as she moves past along the world around her. Let left, then right. Breathe in, breath out. 
time both speeds up and slows down. The details blend in a beautiful Monet-like fashion, and she is lost in her forward-looking trance. Left, then right, breath in, breath out. She twists and turns through her self-selected maze, creating imperfect shapes of art only she can appreciate, until the brown wooden gate greets her once again. And just like that, the wrinkles the wrinkles of the gate come back in focus. The cracks on the ground take on greater depth and definition. And she feels the gentle breeze back on her neck and smiles because she realizes it never left her side. Thank you. <laughs>